Hi, this is Chris of VitaminCM.com, and today we're going to work on creating PowerPoint presentations. When I click open PowerPoint, it gives me a little wizard that lets me pick how I want to start. I can either start from the auto content wizard, which I really don't like using, a design template, which gives me the styling and everything, or a blank presentation. I'm going to start from a design template, so I'll click OK. When I click that, it shows me all the different design templates that I have available. If I click on them, I can go through them and see what they look like. Um, just pick one. I like to take one with a white background and either black or dark blue text because that seems to work the best for presentations. So I'll click OK. And now that the presentation is created, it wants to set up my first slide. And there's all different types of layouts for slides. Uh, the one that it gives you for default for the first slide is what, what I call a title slide. There's ones that have um, a heading with text, a heading with two columns of text, a table, charts, pictures, nothing at all. Um, so whatever your content is, pick the one that's appropriate. So I usually start off with a title slide. And then I'll click in and add my title. So um, I'll click in and make my subtitle. OK. Now, the styling on the fonts here that I'm using, this piece of artwork in the middle, this is all determined by the design template. If I were to switch to a different design template, the fonts, the artwork, it would all get updated to correspond to that one. Now I want to add another slide, so what I'll do is say insert new slide. And I want a slide that just has a heading and some text. So I'll click that, say OK, and I'm ready to create my next slide. But what I want to do is I want to dummy up my whole presentation. So I want to put in all placeholder slides for all the slides that I'm going to need. So to do that, I want to go to the slide sorter, which is down here, the different views. Right now I'm in the normal view. If I go to the slide sorter view, I can see all the slides as if they're pieces of paper laid out on a table in front of me. Now, I'm going to need several different um, regular text slides. So I want to click on this one and copy it. Then I want to click in between the first one and the second one and then paste it. So I'm just going to use control V and paste it in. And I want to paste in another one. Okay, so here are a couple text slides and what I want to do now is uh, maybe insert a title slide for another heading. So I'll just click here. Insert that and a few more text slides. And finally, uh, an ending slide. OK, so I have my title slide, a few basic content slides, another title slide to introduce a new topic, a few more content slides, and finally, an ending slide. Now, the next thing that I do is I go back into the normal view, and I can go from here, just click in this icon, or I can just double click on a slide. And I've already got my slideshow laid out on a piece of paper, so I know how many slides I needed. I know I needed these nine slides, and I know what my topics are. So what I like to do is go through and put in all my, my headings on the top of the page, so all the pages that I'm going to be creating. So I'll just say, um, and then I'll click on the next slide here. Click on the next slide. The title slide the same at the end, just so you have it at the beginning and the end, and it kind of sums up the, the topic. So I want to go back to the slide sorter to show you what I have. So I have my title slide, then uh, my three detail slides for my first topic, then uh, an introduction for my second topic with the title slide, my detail slides, and then just a uh, closing slide at the end. Now, once I've gotten all my headings in, I want to go back and I want to put my text in. This is uh, the next thing. So I'll click in here and I'll write uh,
okay so I'll put my text in I'll go add it in for the rest of the slides slides filled up with their topics or their headings and then I have all the detailed text added in and we could see them here and one of the last things I do is I go in and I add in any graphics that I want so a piece of clip art a photo a chart or a graph uh, a table something like that so you can just go back to the slides and do insert and from the insert menu you have a bunch of choices you can do a picture either clip art or from file uh, an org chart word art uh, you can insert movies or sounds charts tables all kinds of different things from object maybe if you had a, a flash animation something like that so I'm just gonna put in a piece of basic clip art and I'll type chart so I have a bunch of different charts here I'll take this one add it in and when they come in they're not they're usually gonna come in in the center of the screen and they're ne not necessarily sized correctly so I'll just drag it to where I want it and then I'll stretch it from the corner to the size I want that's actually covering the letters a little so I'll move it over and that's how you work with the images if you pulled in a photo you would just browse for the photo on your hard drive place it in same with a movie or a flash animation or any of these things and then just drag it to where you want size it the way you want now that I have all of my headings in all of my text in and all of my graphics in I'll go back to the slide sorter and I'll take a look at it and then what I do is I would make sure it all made sense maybe it was all in the correct orders or something I need to slide around uh, if I didn't like this particular slide here I wanted it somewhere else I could just grab it and drop it somewhere else or I could drop it here or there you could even um, grab blocks of slides to select them all at once and drag them to somewhere else just like that and then once I have it all uh, laid out and it, with the, all the information I want, then what I do is I go back and I edit, 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 refine, and go through it, the whole process uh, until I'm satisfied with it. And that's the workflow I use to quickly put together a professional, organized PowerPoint.